Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 28th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a quick space weather update here. Having a look at a pretty interesting plasma ejection from the sun, plasma filament spinning around and lifting from the northern hemisphere, giving you a little show here, Earth to scale, to the size of this large plasma filament that literally spun off into the abyss. We'll get a closer look at it in just a moment, but you can see it's spinning around there as it leaves and heads northward. We did have quite a few CMEs over the last couple days. 48 hours of imagery. This is the last 12 hours of imagery. But I wanted to show you all the instant reactions after that plasma liftoff. Had a C-class solar flare there. And then plasma filaments interacting in the northern hemisphere of our sun, North Pole region, and then equatorial region. It does not look like there are any major sunspots turning in, but we still have sun six sunspots. Having a look here at the plasma filament, amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Appreciate you all hanging out there. You can see a plasma whip just before that thing started. And when it lifted away, it created. Look at that. Just a circulating wisps of plasma taking off into the abyss. You can see that little on the left hand side flash as well. Might have been a little sun diving comet. But our sun is going through our, a solar maximum right now, which is solar cycle 25. It's already much stronger than NASA predicted. We're seeing some very complex coronal holes. Looking at multi-spectrum there, we have an Earth-facing coronal hole right now, so we can expect our solar winds to increase again over the next 48 hours. And as well, around the North Pole region of the sun. Big coronal hole developing there. But our sun has produced a very strong X-class solar flare in our lifetime. And it was called the Carrington event. Happened back in the late 1800s and literally brought most of mankind to the Dark Ages. Completely fried all circuitry, had no lights. All the hydro wires that were up and around were completely fried. Had to start all over. What if our sun is getting ready to do the same thing again in our generation? What if all these events around our planet that are unfolding, for instance, earthquakes, climate chaos, volcanoes, space weather events, are actually aligning with the solar cycle, which I've been talking about for five years now. This next solar minimum is going to be a long one and most likely dip our planet into a mini ice age. And I've been talking about it for years. We'll see who is wrong or right or whatever, but I know it's not our fault. Having a look here at Lasco 2 is showing the most recent CMEs. This is the last 12 hours of imagery. Yet another CME taking off from the northern hemisphere of our sun or the Southern Hemisphere, whichever one it is, it's going to flip again. Having a look here at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing a small CME taking off from the backside of the sun, and that has, that is heading out right towards Mars. But you can tell with the LASCO, it was in a northward fashion, so most likely missing Mars. And same with these in coupled CMEs that took off from our sun here on the 25th, 
Christmas Day, massive CMEs and missing Earth. But set to give us a glancing blow. Now, though, if you look on the left-hand side, you can see the spiral action, of the equatorial planes of space weather that's coming out. But this latest big triple shot CME took off from the Northern Hemisphere. So who knows, folks, we could be on the verge of another Carrington event or another calamity coming to this planet. But stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Much you love, everybody. Video, and I can't wait to party with you all on New Year's Eve. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe, or like, share, and comment. Hope you enjoy this last little few minutes or seconds. Time lapse. This was my view from my 11th story balcony place in Calgary. And man, I miss that. Much love to everybody. A lot has changed over these past three years when I had this view. And I owe it all to you that I'm still here. So much love and good night.